everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I will be talking to Philadelphia Eagles shopping Jalen Rager, according to Ian Rappaport, and also, also we saw Jaquan Hardy, I believe that's his name, um, but I'm going to get into it. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Um, let's get into um, ah, Jalen Rager. Why am I forgetting his name already? Jalen Rager is being shopped. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Um, it's the same thing I felt about Carson Wentz. Um, I think Carson Wentz was still talented, but I just think it ran its course. The fans was done with him. GM was done with him. We hired the new coaching staff. Last year, well, the last year he was with the Philadelphia Eagles was just atrocious. And it seemed like Jalen Rigger's going in that same route. I think the GM is done with him. Coaching staff done with him, and last year was atrocious. Um, I think he deserves another shot. He is a first round talent. First, well, he was selected in the first round. I believe he was really second round talent. Um, I just think he need a fresh start. I think it just something with him mentally with the Philadelphia Eagles. Same thing with Nelson Aguilar. Just something he just don't fit the city of Philadelphia, and that happens. Sometimes that happens. Carson Wentz, after a while, then fit the mentality of a Philadelphia Eagle. And I think the same thing is going on with Jalen Rager. I just think he need a fresh start. Um, look, look at the um, tweet. You got Greg Ward, Kobe Allen, um, Kane. You still got Zach Pascal, Quez Watkins. We pretty loaded at the wide receiver position. Um. I could see Jalen Rager making the team by default because he's a first-round pick, but you might as well get something out of him because I don't see us resigning Jalen Rager. I mean, get something because, look, J.J. Ortega Whiteside was a fail. That's why we put him at tight end because the tight end position is kind of weak from Dallas Goddard to the next guy. Wide receiver position is strong now. What do we do with a guy like Jalen Rager? Might as well get something out of him. Might as well. You see how the Browns just called the quits with Baker Mayfield? Like, well, it is what it is. Got something out of him. And we got to get something out of Jalen Rager because, once again, I don't see a sign in him, even if it's like a six-round pick. Just something out of it. Now, um, salute to the Eagles signing a big body running back. Got to salute the Philadelphia Eagles as usual. Jaquan Hardy, right? I'm not going to pretend like I just know a lot about him. Um, I really don't. I know he was a former Cowboy. He is 225 pounds, so he's easily the biggest running back that we have. He can be that big body running back that we need. But he played for the Cowboys. I think he played about only like four games, had 51 yards and like a touchdown or something like that. I could be wrong. But I don't really know much about him. I know in college he was a stud. Maybe he gets opportunity with the Philadelphia Eagles. We will see. But I don't really know too much about him. It's just one. He's one of those signers I got to wait and see. I'm not going to blow him up like, yeah, he's the next guy or he's this big body guy that's just going to transform the running game. I don't know. I don't know too much about him, man. But we will see. But. Salute to the Eagles making this happen. Getting some big body running back. I still want Kareem Hunt. If that's possible, we will see. But what do you think and how do you feel about the Eagles shopping Jalen Rager and also the Eagles signing Jaquan Hardy? But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Also, one more day into camp. One more day. Ghosts.